boy, I tell you what, I am shocked. I was looking for some guy about six foot ten because he has such big numbers. Good guys, Charles, you're getting a job. Charles Edmond, right? Yes, sir. This is amazing. Never what I would have dreamed of. <laughs> I'm, is that, look at Charles. I'm doing about a little small running back now. But man, this is huge. This is uh, it's interesting to meet these guys here from High Point Central. Charles, yes, sir. how did you get that uh, ability to catch all those footballs and make all those big plays? Where did all that come from? Uh, it's just, I just wanted to always be a receiver, and I just worked at it, sir. You remind me a little bit of a guy we had here a couple of years ago. He was a little small running back, and he went to Rags that Friday night, and he got injured in that game. Can't remember that Johnny was his first name. Remember little Johnny, a little running back. You might know who you're talking about. He'll come back to it. He always had that big smile on his face. He had transferred to Central that one year and trying to have that big year. But Johnny, but hey, talk about the way this season's gone for you. Has it been everything you hoped it would be, or is there? Uh, yes, sir. I'm just, I'm just like happy to just be able to play like this whole season because I didn't get to play uh, my sophomore year and uh, last year I got hurt as well. So just being able to. Like be in the playoffs, it's just a blessing, you know. It's been like a complete year for yes, you sir. this year. Then. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm just happy for it. And receiving yards at about 9 11, somewhere in that neighborhood? 9 11? Uh, I don't even know. I, don't I even keep know up with them every week. Yeah, track those, <laughs> I don't even know. It's got to be around 9 11, and the touchdown's got to be up at least, I think, at least 10 already or 10. more. Uh, I don't even know, so I just play. <laughs> Your number right now is probably what tomorrow's date, the date on the count. That's what you're probably looking at here at the next game, right? Yes, sir. What do you expect out of Charlotte Catholic? What kind of defense are they going to put um, on you guys? Uh, they have a pretty good defensive scheme. Uh, we just have to worry about what we're doing on offense, and I'm, I'm, we, we know what we can do, and we just have to penetrate and just execute, and we'll, we'll be able to get the job done. Kind of picture you at the wide receiver spot, how you're set up. When we look at you at a wide out left or wide out right, yes, do you usually make a little move here and then a huge cut up field, or is it usually maybe a little cut inside, come back to the ball? How's your how's your route kind of work? What's your favorite route? Uh, how, what, what works best for you? I try, to, I try to switch it up every now and then because you know you can't do the same thing because they'll start to bite on it. I just – Make a cut sometimes and just go there, or I just hit him with a shake or a shoulder fake. Mm -hmm. What's just, your biggest asset to your game? Would it be uh, your hands or your speed? What's your biggest strength, you think? I say my speed because I lack a little bit of, you know, stature. Of, so you try stature. to blow those guys away, yes, Lisa. Do you ever come out maybe early in the game and kind of maybe not move that slow in your right out field and maybe come back a little later and just try to blow that guy away? Yes, sir. Him, yes, sir. Guard? That's exactly. What's your favorite move? My favorite move is uh, I, just, I like to hit him inside, a plant inside, and just go outside. See if they bite, you know, and just try to stack them. And how tall are you, man? <laughs> I'm just 5'9", five, 5'9"? Nine, five, nine, <laughs> how much do you probably weigh? Uh, 165. You carry it pretty well. You, you make me feel better because I'm not very <laughs> tall either. But my whole thing about football is was if you if you can run all day long, you can play. Yes, sir. Do you play any defense, strictly offense? Um, I played corner once, and I, I could play. Like, if they need me for a backup, I'll play corner. Gotcha. Yes, sir. So this Charlotte Catholic team, you think they're better this year or were they better last year? Uh, a personal opinion, I think they were better last year mm -hmm. because, you know, they had a lot of more talented players. But I, I, I give them their credit this year. They're, they're pretty good. They play hard. And and probably part of your opinion, because soon you hear a question like this, I'm not worried about last year. I'm worried last about year. this year. <laughs> exactly. I'm worried about tomorrow night, that big game. <laughs> yes, sir. Does it matter having to go down there? I mean, you went to Southeast last week, that, not nearly as long a trip, but you've been yes, out sir. of Catholic before. Does it matter being on the road? Or is it, what, no, it doesn't matter. As long as we, you know, just playing and just getting the win, that's all that matters to us. It doesn't matter how far we have to travel. We just – I'm just focused on getting this what win. What would it mean to you, Charles Edmond, to get that win tomorrow night? What, what would that mean to you? Uh, it mean the world because, you know, uh, just us being seniors, this is our last year. Some of us will probably never get a chance to play football again. So this means a lot to us, sir. Do you feel like you'll get a chance to play again? Um, sir, hopefully, to be honest, I really don't know what God has in plan for me. Yeah, I'll tell you what, you never know. Sometimes he's got some things uh, planned for you you never dreamed you might have ready for you. Yes, How sir, tight right. are these seniors? How tight is this senior bunch? Uh, we're actually we're pretty close with each other. Uh, we hang out outside of football all the time. Uh, we're constantly over each other's houses, and you know, and doing all this. And we're just so you guys are not only family on the field, you're family, family off the field yes, too. Sir. Then. Yes, sir. That's good stuff, good stuff. What do you think the key is to play in your position? What's the key to being in that wide receiver spot? The key, uh, you got to be crisp on your routes. You got to be able to catch the ball, one. Uh, and you just have to be mentally tough. How many reps does it take for you to get warm before the game? How many catches you do you need, or how much time do you need to get ready to play? Uh, 
I'll tell you, I'll say it takes about 15 minutes just to get warm. So 15 minutes, up. maybe 15 to 20 catches yes, before the game starts, yes, and then sir. you're ready to go? Yes, sir. Because I was thinking about me playing basketball. Sometimes if I play basketball, pickup games, it takes me eight hours to get ready. <laughs> by eight hours, man, I can play all night long because the other guy's probably dead by then. Uh, describe your typical summer workouts. What were your summer workouts uh, typical like? Typical summer workouts. Uh, Monday, we're in the weight room, and then we hit the track. Uh, Tuesday will be... Tuesday will be agility day, mm -hmm. I believe, and then Wednesday will be like stuff on the field. You know, we're working with plays and stuff, and it's just be uh, Thursday would be back in the weight room, and then it's just repetition. Yes, sir. Repetition after that. All. It would not be High Point Central if you guys did not spend some time on the track, right? Yes, sir. No, sir. It would not be. Coach Jones is a Coach track Jones man. Is a track. Those guys. Do you run track as well? Yes, sir. What event? I do the 100 long jump, uh, triple jump, and the four by one. Man, you're busy track man too. Do you do any other sports besides football and track, or is it? Uh, basketball. Play basketball too. Yes, sir. You on the uh, varsity team, yes, sir. Mass, good stuff. I gotta watch you close in basketball. Do you play point guard? Yes, sir. That's good. Start at point guard. Yes, sir. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good. Man, you've had some good stuff going on here, man. I tell you what, learning more about Charles Edmund here tonight. But basketball, like I the question asked earlier, it doesn't matter what day it is, what time. And right now, everything is all on Friday night. That big football game. Yes, sir. Charles Evan, what are some of the questions for Charles here? Who do you think's been the toughest team you guys face this year? Uh, toughest team, I would have to say West Forsyth. West Forsyth, that's yes, a battle right there. Yes, sir. Now that team's no longer in the past. That's what's so crazy. Yeah, West Forsyth crazy. was playing yeah. so good early. Now they're, they're just, gone. Exactly. It's just crazy how this thing goes. Uh, favorite class at High Point Central? My favorite class would be gym. Gym class? <laughs> yes, okay. Sir. Okay, you guys. What's the gym class like when you're a senior in high school? I mean, back in my day, you pretty much had a little free time and there. You could get ready for practice if you had gym last class a day. But what kind of stuff you guys do in the gym class right now? Well, it's actually pretty fun. They have activities you do. Like, we, we do games a lot. And, like, you play for, like, you, you have teams and you play for points. And the team that wins at the end of the week, they get prizes, I guess. It's good you know, stuff. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Who's your gym teacher? Uh, Coach Carter. Coach Carter. Yes, sir. Who are some of your other coaches? Who's your position coach? I know we talk about Coach Jones all the time. Uh, Who are some of his other uh, high point central coaches? Coach McLean, the wide receiver coach. Mm -hmm. is, he's one of my favorite coaches. What's his first name? Uh, James. James McLean. James heard McLean. Before. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. And who else? Some of these other key coaches on your uh, staff there. Well, you have Coach Thomas, Coach Peterson. Coach uh, Thomas is also a receiver coach. Okay. Coach Peterson, I believe he's the uh, linebacker coach and Coach Underwood as well. Uh, coach Hill, he's a defensive coach as well. Coach Smith, he's the offensive coordinator. Now here's one for you. Who was your first ever football coach? First, first coach you ever had? First coach I've ever had for football. I started playing football in the seventh grade, and I was at Welburn. Uh, coach, I forgot his name. It was Coach. Uh, did you guys have a good team over yes, there? Yes, sir. We were undefeated. Welburn undefeated. But you guys, did Welburn play Ferndale? Yes, sir. We and played them. Ferndale. Yes, sir. So you would have probably played against Jamel and some Jamil. of those guys. Yes, sir. You beat those guys. Yes, sir. Man, that's not bad at all. <laughs> so back in the day, playing against each other, getting wins. Yes, Best sir. teacher you've ever had? Best teacher I've ever had, um, Mr. Lowe. Okay. Have you got a uh, least favorite class at Central? Class least favorite class? Uh, math. <laughs> math class? Yes, okay. sir. I can vouch for that myself. <laughs> How about uh, favorite college football team? My favorite college football team would have to be West Virginia. West Virginia Mountaineers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anything in particular about West Virginia we should look for? I just like I just like their style of play. Like I feel like they have a nice offense set, and they just I just like the way they play. Wide open. Yes, sir. Wide open. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yes, uh, favorite NFL team? Favorite NFL team is the Patriots. You like the Patriots. Patriots. Yes, sir. How about uh, Brandon LaFell? You been watching him this year yes, since he came in? Yes, sir. He's doing his thing right now. It's amazing how good <laughs> he's doing for them, and the Panthers could have still had that guy. Yes, sir. What about Panther receivers? You watching anything? Panther receiver, yes, sir. Uh, Kevin Benjamin. Yeah. He's. He's a real deal. Man, with his height, I don't think either yeah. one of us could miss. We love the sport. That kind of height is just crazy how big that guy is. Yes, sir. You think the Panthers still make the playoffs or are they done? Uh, I think they're done. <laughs> Washed up and gone. <laughs> favorite sport other than football? My favorite sport other than football would have to be baseball. Baseball? Yes, sir. Really? Yes, sir. So you do track. You also do basketball, but you love baseball. Yes, sir. Too? Baseball was my first sport. Really? Back yes, in sir. the day, huh? Yes, sir. Second base? Uh, Shortstop? Shortstop. Okay. <laughs> no, this is like that size. It's, it's, I asked a question earlier of uh, Jamel about 
this Mike Stanton just signed this big contract this week. Do you know which yes, team Stanton's with? Stan, uh, I, do, I have no clue. Sir. But you know what sport, though, right, Mike Stanton? Is, 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 baseball, baseball. Baseball. Okay. Yeah, we'll keep asking that question. <laughs> you lose your cell phone. You got no more TV. Computer's gone. All this stuff goes dead. What would you do with all that spare time? Um... Try to work out, do some push-ups, I guess. Keep Start working, getting... doing something. Yes, sir. Back to that baseball thing. Yes, sir. Did you ever play any baseball with some of those guys back in the younger days, those little central baseball guys like Josh Wilson, yeah. Connor Wilson? Yes, sir. I played Trevor Gale, those at guys? Ferndale with them. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. What about uh, Zach McLean? Zach right. McLean, well, he can hit. Yeah, I played with him. When I was at Ferndale, he played at uh, Central, and we used to come over to the uh, Central field to practice, and I used to just watch him hit, and it'd just be amazing. How about this other guy? Those other guys? Uh, this other guy. Let me give you one more guy here, too. Mm -hmm. What about this guy, Handsome Butler. Remember Butler? <laughs> Handsome Butler, that boy. He has an arm on him. Yeah, he, he has an arm on him. Yes, sir. Well, you know all those baseball guys. Yes, sir. Well-rounded guy. Let me throw a couple more questions at Charles. I'm going to let Charles roll. Uh, what do you guys learn from Coach Jones over the years that's really made this High Point Central team a better team during the course of your career? What's Coach Jones made the impression with the left you guys with? Well, he's taught us a lot. Like, he hasn't just taught us about football. He's taught us, like, life lessons, how to be a better person. Like, he just taught us like everything that we need to know just to like take it with us as we grow and you know just to be mature and how to do things in life. He just he's a good coach. He's a good guy. Taught you some very good life lessons. Yes, sir. Life lessons. Yes, sir. What does it take to beat uh, Catholic tomorrow night? Uh, we just need confidence and we just need to do what we do best. Who do you give the shout out to for uh, the person out there that's helped make the biggest difference in your life? Who gets that shout out to? The tonight? biggest difference in my life? Uh, my mother. Mother, she did yes, the sir. job. Yes, sir. Tell you what, Charles, outstanding job. Thank you, sir. Enjoy meeting you, getting to know you about your baseball career, all these things. Keep up the good work. Best yes, of luck in the game tomorrow night. If you can get two touchdowns and maybe eight or nine receptions, go yes, get that for us. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Charles. Charles Edmund with us. Change